Welcome back, everybody, for another Aegidius scenario. We, uh, we eventually got our way to victory and triumvirate. Now we're going to go to where all roads end, which looks like to be around Montpellier. I can hear the distant oh. howls of a pack of wolves, probably closing on their prey in the dark, and I feel a shiver running down my spine. I know how these animals hunt all too well. They patiently too, stalk their prey at I'll first move. from afar. As they get closer and closer, they carefully observe, looking for weakness. They can smell it. It's their instinct. Aegidius had witnessed the full might of the newly reconstructed Western Imperial fleet as the warships gathered in the port of Aralate. When they sailed out down the delta towards the sea and the distant ports of Hispania, this mighty armada seemed invincible, and it probably was. If only it could have been brought to the fray. A few days before the landing operations against the Vandals, as the fleet was harbored in Carthaginensis, Vandal spies used the cover of darkness to set a few ships aflame. In one night, the fire had consumed most of the fleet and the hopes of Majorian to reconquer Africa had went away in smoke and ashes. Nice job, man. When Aegidius welcomed his friend in Arelate on his way back to Italy, he could barely recognize the confident emperor that left the city a few months prior. Majorian appeared absent, not quite muted, but walled up on himself and distant as worry of an invisible menace. Against all idea of prudence, Majorian dismissed the troops, left Aegidius in charge, and rode off towards Italy with a small and fast-moving escort. The wolves had been starving for too long already, lurking in the shadow at the edge of the woods. And they just had smelled weakness. Uh-oh, Spaghetti-o. Oh, okay. Open the gates! Close the gates! Open the gates! <laughs> Even Dash is excited. Treachery. Treachery is upon us. We were part of Emperor Majorian's traveling retinue, General. We got ambushed on the road by Rickimer's men. Oh the no. Was captured and assassinated. They done Damn goofed. It. May that snake rot in hell! It is clear that Ritzimer wants to seize power for himself. This infamy cannot go unpunished. I will oppose this vile traitor with all my power. Tell me what the situation is. Ritzimer planned his move carefully. He barely made it out alive. He secured the support of the few remaining troops of the region, and his mercenaries are currently blocking all exit roads from the city. Surely Ritzimer would never count on my support. He wants me dead, and knows that I would try to reach my domain in Northern Gaul. I fear that we have to make a stand here, in Aralate. Commander, make your report on the defenses. It doesn't look good, General. Here, in the Northern District, there's only one ballista and a few mercenaries posted at the gatehouse, but no meaningful fortifications beside the walls. Oh! Fortify the district, conscript the inhabitants. Interesting. Decision, um... Well, let's fortify it, I guess. I want barricades to be laid at strategic points of this district. See to it! Uh, I don't think we need to conscript anybody. That will be all for this district. In the southern district, you will find the training grounds of the town <laughs> watch. Maybe we could repair the old mangonel and put it back in service as well. Your Frankish soldiers are garrisoned at the fort along with another ballista. Oh. Well, I'm not really sure what fortifying the district does, but gosh darn it, that's what we're gonna do. 
barricades to be laid at strategic points of this don't want to conscript anybody though because i need i'm gonna need the peasantry for economy district see to it that will be all for this district at the docks the few remaining warships will undoubtedly prove invaluable to the defense or if their artillery would come to be needed on land the ballistas could always be dismounted off the ships the market of the outer district holds a lot of resources but transferring them to the city will take some time and defending this sector will be incredibly difficult but in any case we cannot let the enemy get hold of these goods um burn the district down no we're fortifying everything we'll spend all our money to do so see to it is this really what all it does that will be all for this district like how much is this really gonna help we still have time to destroy the bridge, General. Doing so should prevent any assault from that direction, but it might as well bring unforeseen consequences. What will it be? Uh, let's not do that so we can get to the market district thingy. Hmm. Also, it's really easy Having to defend the bridge a bridge. Destroyed would be a mistake. If the enemy is foolish enough to assault it, yeah. I will gladly make him regret his I mean, decision. this is just such a narrow checkpoint. It can be bombarded by the... The water. Oh yeah, here are all the barricades we spent well, all friends, of our wood building. You can proceed to the monastery. The monks will take care of your wounds. Now, we should hurry and task the workers to build any further fortification we might need yet. You heard the general. Now get to work. Back to work. Yes, my lord. It's uh, me being the uh, Warcraft peasants. Salve. Yeah, right. Um, okay, so let's see what the heck we're doing. Defend Aralate. You lose if your morale hits zero. Protect the castle, protect the town center, protect Aegidius. Okay, we have no economy. Our villagers cannot collect resources. We, we can't train any of us beside villagers. Oh. Oh. And it's, uh, we're trapped in our latte. We have our latte completely surrounded. Oh, so we, we literally can't train any units. Okay. We can get, oh, whoops. Sorry. Okay, that's just ballistas, and these are some other relevant. Oh, we have started to load the resources from the outer district onto pack animals, but we're going to need protection. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I guess that area is kind of defended. Ah, yes, the explorators. You love them. I mean, we barely have anything, right? We just have some random spearmen and crossbowmen. We have some relics somewhere. We're generating gold. I guess we'll get Bodkin. Wooden Tower. Um... Sure. I don't know. Let's try building a tower. We may need to restart this one and, uh... Wait, how are we losing morale? Didn't we start with 50? Why is our morale declining? 
But yeah, we definitely want to defend this area. Let's get another tower up over there. We got Bodkin, I think. Yeah. Oh, there are scorpions un -gar or garrisoned inside the war galleys. That's interesting. I do think we want to keep the war galleys alive. Like, one war galley sounds more useful than one scorpion. Okay, here is Resimer. Just kidding, I know it's Resimer. Let's get behind the walls here. Or at least set up at this choke point. I didn't expect any less from you, Egidius. But you stand no chance against my army. Surrender yourself, and nobody else has to die. You have my word. And my axe. Oh, wait. Wrong one. Well, lead throwing axemen are nice. I mean, again, it would be nice to know how long I need to defend this area. <laughs> but yeah, not con not conscripting the uh, the people uh, might be a mistake. Another pack mule has been loaded with resources. Oh, okay, cool. Is ready to move to the city. Oh, here it is. Well, can I just use the transport? Do it extra safe. Uh, I guess we need to get it to the town center. Yes. Also, I like how Arl or Arlate is, uh... It's like a more expanded version of what we see in, uh... The last scenario. Like, the, the cities are smaller in the scenarios at, like, larger scale, because, you know, it's artistic representation. Yeah, let's see how much we get. I mean, it's not like we can really spend it on that much. Oh, elite warriors. I wish I was an elite warrior. Um, let's get chainmail armor. This so will doubly affect our units. I don't think we can get any monks anywhere. I guess what we can do is send injured units. Um, I guess send you guys over to the, the monkaroos. Also, how good are these towers? They don't have much HP. Okay, so it's kind of like a guard tower. We've got lots of armor on our taxmen. Get another tower up over here. We are really trying to make this happen with the ragtag army. Okay, so we can research ballistics at the university. It looks like the traitors had enough. At least for now. See to the wounded, repair the fortifications, and send scouts around the city. If the enemy has any weakness, we must find about it. Okay. Um. They didn't really attack us with much. Well, let's scout. Another pack mule has been loaded with resources and is ready to move to the city. So you've decided to make things difficult, hmm? Well, you're giving me a harder time than Majorian. I'll give you that. 
but you will soon learn that resisting me is futile. Resisting me is futile. Oh, wait. Why is the rest Western Roman Empire our enemy? We are the Western Roman Empire. I guess he's just seized control of everything. Enemy, st enemy storage spotted. Yeah, sure. Let's go for it. If we have a brief respite. We won't hold the city for long without more resources and equipment. It would appear that Rickimer's dogs are not expecting any Sally, and their reserves are scarcely protected. I won't let such a mistake go unpunished. Sally forth. I guess we can get some extra resources that way. Hey, but it seems interesting. Yeah, these guys got nothing, I tell ya. Alrighty. Enemy fire camp. Foya, foya! Impera. Salve. Uh, let's hurry this up a little bit. We can leave the scorpion at home. Well, we can go ahead and get ballistics in a moment. I think that's something I would like to prioritize. Salve. Light cav counter drummonds. Oh, this is another fire camp. I, I still wish we could stop our moral decline. Just kidding, it's morale. So, like, what does this fire camp do? Oh, loot! Another pack mule has been loaded with resources and is ready to move to the city. All right. Let's go ahead and pick up you. Send our hero units in first since they regenerate HP. Ah, another a Dromon. All right. Uh, let's send you guys back over here. I mean, we can't really... I mean, like, they're just not attacking us with that much, but we also have very little with which to defend if we can't train any new units. I mean, basically, all we can do is just spam towers. And I don't really know where they're going to attack us next, so I don't really want to spend my stone just yet. And our moral our morale is still declining. <laughs> ah. Honestly, Eugenius and the two Scythian scouts or explorators can take care of this one. 
Get a little trample damage and whatnot. I mean, what else are we gonna get? I, I mean, I guess we'll get that. I mean, this isn't much of a siege, to be honest. Oh, does my, up my upgrades benefit these units? They do! Ah! Well, let's get Chain Barding Armor and Husbandry as well, then. Because these uh, are our hero, hero units and are therefore much more important. Loot! So it is true. General Aegidius is trapped in the city by the same dogs who murdered the Emperor. After me, men. We must thrust through the enemy lines and offer our help immediately. Okie dokie! I mean, like... Wait! Holy cow, these wolves deal a lot of damage. I don't think we can run them through that camp. At least not without taking a bunch of damage. But it looks like this is the, this is the way... Weapons and gear stored in that armory could equip the men of the watch and the levies. Ah! Run! Run! Alright. That's fine. Get to the monks. Anything interesting over here? Anything at all. It's also in this centurion, and what am I doing? Salve. Hail. Fire. Hail. All right. Alrighty. Yeah, I mean, these cavalry units should be enough, and we can... We got the hero units to charge in front and tank a lot of damage. You can see how insanely well-armored, uh, fierce armor-wise, the explorators are. They're Scythian scouts. Although they do need to go in first, but as here you can just take immediately go to the back. Ugh, stupid outpost. Well, we'll get that. I don't think we've been under attack. So I'm really missing something, which is, I suppose, possible. I'll take more resources. Not that I'm too sure what to do with them.
Um, do I just sit under the towers and take out the blacksmith, or do I take down the towers one by one? I think I'll take down the towers just to be on the safe side. Anyway, we might get, like, Imperial Age upgrades or something like that. The enemy is coming back. Let everyone pull back behind the walls. Okay. Well, we definitely need to keep an eye out for the areas that are getting attacked, but we can at least build more towers. Alright, attack this please. I am playing on the live patch, so no no new pathfinding from the, uh, the tournament patch. And I think it's also on the pup now, at least as I'm recording this. Good to see what's going on over here to the east. Load the weapons onto this cart and see it back to the city at once. Okay. We'll send those guys back and then we can uh, heal them up. Okay. Well, let's so we just try and hold the line there. Oh, I completely forgot about the donkey. Excellent. Equip the men with these weapons and arms immediately. We just bought ourselves a fighting chance. Salve. Heo. Inter. Fario. Tibis. Salve. Heal you guys up, I guess. Wait, I hear attacking sounds. Ah! You guys are all healed up. Don't think there's anything over there. Let's continue our exploratoration of the map. Repair that and repair that. All that's fine. Alright, nothing over there. Ah, you guys are low. I mean, we are slowly using, losing it units. I mean, at this point, just play tower defense. Alright. Okay. Charge! Oh, that pathfinding's so good. Whoa there, homies. I would rather face a certain death standing by your side, Egidius, having to spend one more day at the service of a barbarian traitor. Strength and honor! Okay, let's get you guys behind the walls. I mean, I don't even think we'd lose that fight. Oh! Oh! 
Uh, let's send the legionaries and the, these axemen dudes over this way because everyone else just kind of wants to sit behind walls. And send the crossbowmen back up here to the north. Send the pikemen over here as well. Alright. Uh, oh, you guys get healed up. Everybody getting healed on up. Alright. You guys go onward that way. You guys go back down this way. And with all these more reinforcements, we should be looking to be in a bit of a better spot. We can even get, like, masonry and uh, murder holes and whatnot. Well, despite us conscripting zero people, <laughs> you know, it could be going worse. You can't be that unhappy. Ah, ships. Oh, I keep on forgetting about the donkey. I feel like I missed out so much on donkey-ness. Repair the damaged ships, I suppose. Are you guys hi guarding something? Oh, are they done with pack mules? Um, I guess we can get that. Oh boy. Okay, try and go after that dude. Okay, we got the mangonel. Ah. Fair amount of enemy troops. Okay, we should be able to retreat to the safety of our towers now. Should the bills stay safe? Yeah, really realistically no reason to uh take damage here. Can you garrison? Yes. Alright, just keep scouting around, I guess. Anything interesting over here? The enemy is stockpiling Greek fire supplies in this warehouse. If we manage to capture the building without damaging it, we could use this dreadful weapon to our own advantage.
just be careful of that knight. We're doing fine. Excellent. The Greek fire storage is in our hands. Quick, load the barrels upon a wagon and drive it back to the city. Okay. Oh, all y'all need to get healed up. Uh, didn't expect you guys to be coming in from nowhere. Peasantry! Always the peasantry, man. Hmm, that's not ideal. Yeah, it taken a long freaking time to load those wagons. Oh, I guess uh, let's not destroy that ox wagon in case. But these guys need to come back home and get healed up. Did I lose one of the knights? I thought I had four knights. Maybe it was only three. Oh, and did I lose one of my explorators? Again, I still don't know how long I'm supposed to do this. Okay, you guys go heal. Yeah, we don't really have that much left in terms of units. Alright, chemistry is something. Okay, you guys really need to get healed up though. I mean, if those guys all get healed up, then that's something. need to give up this market area. Yeah, we're not stopping trubs. Come on. Okay, we can focus on defending the bridge then. Yeah, 
that's not going to be an issue. I'm sure there's nothing over there. Now, uh, War Galleys do get a bit of bonus damage versus Trebs. Keep looking, I guess. Doesn't seem to be that much left of the map to explore. We also seem to be gaining morale somehow. But yeah, this is what I was talking about at the way at the beginning, is that defending this area is a lot easier than trying to defend other bits of area. All right. Yeah, I can't believe I lost one of my Explorator heroes. I mean, they'll destroy the market eventually. I think I only... No, I, I even have multiple markets! Like, I already did everything I needed to from this area. Let's go back to the area that's easy to defend. Heal on up. Let's repair the damaged ships. I guess we can bring. I mean, the scorpion would be really good in this area. Hey, you got these units. The enemies are pulling back to lick their wounds, but they're not. Uh, we must prepare to welcome their assaults once more. Well, up and at him again, I guess. Crossbowman's kind of low HP. Ah! Okay, I mean, we, we explored everything there is to explore over here. Everything else is just forest or water. Salve. 
Sarpeo. Tibi Sergio. Pronto, ufficio. Impera. Pareo. Peo. Eus. Impera. Edifico. Salve. Pareo. I mean, if they attack at this area, we still have the towers to help protect. Pronto, still have one bill over here to repair. Alright, uh, we don't even need to go across the bridge. We can just use the transport ship. Also, this looks pretty cool. I don't know how they did that. Like, get only a little bit of the bridge tile. Alrighty. I guess there are more storage and fire camps that have, you know, resources in them. I guess just kill this stuff. back. Okay. Can you guys have damage the tower? Uh, you can just sit under the base of the tower and get healed up. I'll send these guys back to the... Uh, I guess we can just walk through the gate. As long as you don't run into a huge army on the way there, but I think we're fine. You guys are still derping out. Oh, I don't think I ever got masonry, did I? No. Getting on healed up. We're going to bump this up to fast speed. <laughs> Seems to be a lot of waiting right now. The video's already getting pretty long. guys to eat all the damage in the first place. The enemy is coming back. Let everyone pull back behind the walls. Alrighty. <coughs> Sorry. 
Excuse me. Anything over there? The centurion is done centurioning. I still wish I knew what the end goal was here, <laughs> other than to, you know, not lose. Let's try and fight underneath the towers. Okay, whatever. Go get him. Hey, salve, salve. Hey. Repito. Repito. Let's get some of that. And I think I did everything. Well, there's the last of ah! I don't think there's anything else to do. Salve. I guess get you guys healed up or something. Salve. A couple war galleys. Actually, a few war galleys could use some repairs. I wonder what the disadvantage is if you destroy the bridge. Other than, I guess, not being able to reinforce this side. Oh, okay. Um, one per minute. Killing enemy units. Oh, the market's also trickle gold. Okay. Um. I guess we can repair this just in case. Repair, please. There. No, you were just repairing. There we go. I mean, we certainly haven't done a perfect job of keeping units alive. We've lost, like, 20 or so. But... Okay, let's pump this up more. I, I seriously have no idea what I'm waiting on. Alright, um... Um... 
Oh, I got it. Well, just heal you guys up. Yeah, just defend our latte, and then we lose if her morale hits zero. Uh. That still isn't that scary. What on earth are these guys doing with their pathfinding? What the heck? I told them to go over here! Is it because of the freaking barricades? Well, that just let a bunch of units in and allowed these walls to get destroyed. Awesome. I also lost one of my Centurions, I think. And a Vil. Damn you, Aegidius! Wouldn't you just die already? You're making me lose my patience! Ah! Ah! Oh, wait, it's the old Manganel! I remember that guy! Towers there gonna be doing fine. I'm a little concerned about everyone who's just gonna be pouring in over here from the east. Did I lose one of my ships? Ugh. Well, let's bring these guys over here. Guess we'll try healing you guys up. Well, there goes that market. <laughs> Oh no, not the barricades. How long has that scorpion been attacking the gate? Hey, 
Well, yeah, that <laughs> castle's not going to go down anytime soon. I guess I never got murder holes, but I don't think that should matter too much. Trebs. Get us gonna run out of dudes if they keep on. Oh my goodness. Army. It won't recover from this bleeding anytime soon. Good. Yet we cannot hope to hold the city. General, you've won the opportunity to act. You must now think of yourself and of the future of the Empire. We shall delay the enemy while you escape the city. And leave the men here to die. After all we endured together, I won't allow this. If you stay here, General, we all die anyway. And for nothing. Allow us to make this final sacrifice for Rome. If you live to keep fighting and avenge our death and the Emperor's, then we gladly embrace our fate. Then, this is probably the last time we speak. Fighting by your side was my honor. And now, my axe. Rome a victor. Uh, wait. Uh, I guess go with some repairs there and there. My army! I, I am surrounded by complete idiots! Commit all the last reserves and do not let him escape the city, or else I will have your ugly heads on a spike! Well, we really don't have much left to work with. Especially since we lost our hero unit. Oh, there was a knight over there that I missed. <laughs> Well, we got another minute.
Oh. Okay, there we go. The priests say that the devil often disguises himself as an angel of light. For how long Rissimer had been plotting Majorian's demise exactly? Nobody knows for sure. Probably as soon as he realized that the horse he had bet on wasn't one he could so easily break and tame. Well, Rissimer never really hid his ambitious nature. After all, he was the mind behind the idea of having the Emperor Avatus executed after he had been deposed. And yet... Murdering a usurper was one thing, but assassinating a friend in cold blood? On his side, Aegidius had grown more suspicious about Rissimer's intentions for quite a while. It came as no surprise that the first thing the traitor tried to do was to have him killed. Having Aegidius trapped in Aralate, cut off from his domain in northern Gaul and from his Frankish allies, Rickimer could already taste victory. Against all odds, Aegidius not only managed to escape the city, but he did so after having tactically defeated the formidable force sent against him. It is difficult to figure out what was going through Aegidius's mind as he was traveling north towards his domain and family, not knowing what to expect upon arrival. Torn between his grief over Majorian's death, his hate against Ritzimer, and his angst for his own entourage. He was probably measuring how Rissimer had just wasted all the bloodshed for the Empire over his personal ambitions, as well as the full scale of the fights ahead. Ripperino, man. Huh? I killed 25 units that game. Hmm. I, and I only lost seven. I don't know. Yeah, to be honest, that wasn't my favorite scenario ever. It, it was kind of uncle. Oh, I guess we could have taken down these guys. I missed this. I did miss this. Okay. Um... Yeah, T to be honest, it, it just felt really slow, and I wasn't really sh exactly sure what I was supposed to be doing. I didn't really get a good idea of what the uh, the beginning meant with like barricading areas and making sure that you know you can conscript skull soldiers. Like that wasn't really very clear to me personally. Yeah. I mean, it's like a cool idea, but it does feel like the execution was a bit off. And I, I'll gladly take any attempt at a scenario that isn't just your basic post-imp build and destroy any day. But yeah, it just didn't quite land for me. Alright guys, that's where we're all roads end. Next up will be Emperors and Generals. See you guys next time for that one.